any petroglyphs for the past 200 years are definitely Paiute. So I know this is a place of our people. I know that this is my ancestors' area. I know this, and it's written. It's right here. I definitely feel a connection. I know that these are rock writings, that these are stories. It's not rock art. I mean, what I do is rock art. <laughs> it's art that's inspired by these stories. This is a place where our ancestors walked. I started out as a wildlife biologist. I enjoyed getting out. I enjoyed seeing the animals and the plants and learning about them and learning about the rhythm of this place. But I didn't feel whole and complete. What I needed is to also incorporate art. I enjoy painting wildlife, but because of my science background, it always has to be scientifically accurate. So I realized what I needed to do is start taking photographs of the wildlife so I would have my own reference material to work from. The key to everything in my life is to use the arts to educate people about the beauty and diversity of the natural world around them. So many, many, many moons ago, <laughs> our people weren't doing well. They were hungry, starving, and the bighorn sheep saw us and sacrificed itself, eat from me, take from me. And so our people were able to survive by this heroic act of the bighorn sheep. We call the bighorn sheep our brother. That is us. We are them, and we must protect them. I'm an artivist, artist, activist, and I'm very much inspired by these areas. I don't know everything about everything just because I'm Paiute. It's a daily learning something new kind of thing. Uh, the only difference now that I'm older is I'm listening. I'm listening more and I'm more interested in you know these stories and trying to figure out who, who I am because this is a part of our identity. We identify by the lands from which we came. I touch the sand and I feel like I'm at home. I feel good, I feel welcome. We as a species are so biased against all other species. We're so sure that we're absolutely on top, we don't give all these other species that we share the planet with room to live their lives as they're meant to. I just feel an obligation to these other life forms that are on the planet with me that they should have a place where they can uh, have their life cycles without humans interfering. Once the Air Force or the military gets control of an area, people will never get it back. Essentially, they want to turn it into a militarized zone, build runways, build roads, install fences to keep the public out. If they close the gates to this place, what, what do you lose? Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's taking away this piece of my life. It's taking away a treasured place. Most people value Yosemite. What would you feel if Yosemite was taken away from you? I can't even put it into words. 
it would be complete sadness if I couldn't sit here where my ancestors had sat and rested and talked. To think that any part of this land would be shut off to, to me, to my people, to anyone, would be an absolute tragedy. It would, it would break my heart.